بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. In this lecture, I am going to explain the interpolar separations. That means the spacing between the two successive planes. If you consider the body center uh, cubic system and their ratios between the successive lattice planes. So in the previous video, I have already explained the uh, one of the cubic system that is the primitive or the simple cubic system. And uh, I have uh, explained the equation to be used for the interplanetary separation. So these are the links. You may further go and watch the relevant videos. So here our uh, main focus is to understand how to calculate the interplanar separation of a body center cubic lattice. So body center cubic uh, lattice uh, has uh, eight corners and uh, these are mentioned over here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is a unit cell. So it is having eight corners uh, as uh, similar to the simple cubic system, but an additional atom at the center of the cube. That's why this is called the body center cubic system. So it, it is having a, a packing and it is called the body center cubic packing. And this I have already explained, also explained in one of the previous videos. So here, this is the X are the pattern having the sine theta values and these are the HKL values. And uh, let's start with the calculation of the uh, uh, D spacing. That means the interplanar separation between two successive planes. And uh, first we will calculate the uh, D HKL value. These are the Miller indices and D is the interplanar separation. Let's suppose consider a, a plane uh, having the HKL value of 200. Zero, zero, and I, am, I have just taken as an example from this data. You can take any one of the, uh, these uh, uh, peaks and HKL values to calculate the interplanar separations. So this is the plane and this is the D200 and uh, this is having additional plane and uh, one, <coughs> uh, one atom at the center of the body. That's why this is called the body center cubic lattice. And uh, <coughs> this you have to calculate the D scale value by using this equation. And again, this equation I have explained before, uh, you can watch by using these YouTube links. And um, this is very simple formula and uh, you can just put the values of the HKL and here this HKL values in this plane is two is H, K is zero and L is zero. So by using this formula, just put the values of these three and this will be the two, two square, zero square and plus zero square. So it will be uh, two square uh, under root that will give you the value of the two under root going to cancel out the square. So A divided by two is the DHKL value for the two zero zero plane of a body center cubic lattice. Similar to the previous example, you can calculate the uh, plane uh, D spacing or interplanar separation of any plane. And here, this is another example. This plane is the 110. And uh, this is the plane. Uh, it is shown over here, uh, D110. By using the same formula, you can just put the values of the H is 1 over here, K is 1, and uh, L is 0. So one square, one square will remain one, one plus one is two, so it will be the two under root. So A divided by two under root is the answer of this plane. And if you know the value of A, you can uh, exactly calculate the 
this spacing or the interplanar separation of this plane. So body center cubic lattice, this is <coughs> another example. This is, this plane is uh, two to two, triple two of a body center cubic lattice. And the plane is shown over here by using this same equation. Now the H is two, K is two and L is two. So when you solve this one, actually this will give you the value of 12. So uh, maybe you can write this one, but in a simple form, you have to convert into the this. And uh, so your total answer is 12 under root. So you can also write uh, four multiplied by three, that is also 12. So when you take uh, 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 two square, that is also the four. So two square under root, will give you the value of two and remaining is the three under root because two square, two is uh, two square under root is cancel out and will give you the value of two and then it is the three under root. So this is the most simple form uh, of the D22 because in the next days we are going to use this to calculate the, the ratio between the interplanar separation. So let's start what is the ratio. How can we calculate the ratio of the separation between the these three successive planes, 2, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and uh, 2, 2, 2 lattice planes of the body center cubic lattice. And these are the ratio. These we have already calculated. And just you can write down what we have calculated before. And uh, this is the uh, let's suppose if A is one, and uh, then if you take the, uh, uh, just multiply by two with this equation, this will be two over two, that will be equal to one, two divided by under root will give you this value, two divided by two uh, under root three, two is going to cancel out, and when we solve this, this would be the value of uh, this. Uh, 1577. So if you um, just reverse this value, um, it will be the reverse of the, this one again. Uh, uh, sorry, so this would be the uh, okay. So when you uh, you may also write by inversing this equation. So if you reverse this one after multiplication with two, so this equation will become two divided by two is one, and this is the two under root uh, one. So it is mistakenly is written over here. And this would be the, of course, uh, when you inverse this one, this would be the three under root. So you may just uh, correct the value by just inversing this equation. So this is all about uh, uh, our total lecture.